Man, we're gonna go ahead and get this thing rolling. Okay, who you want first? Me. Man, we, we're gonna we're gonna do it at the same time. Okay. I'm Toya. I'm Jay. Toya and Jay. What's y'all ages? I'm, I'm 62. I'm 32. I'm 32. Tell the people who you are though, cause they see they. Uh, I just did a video with your mama, and they liked your mama a lot. This this Tara daughter, the one I did uh, her and her boyfriend over at VC House, and y'all was like, she real, and all that. This is her daughter. They look just like twins. Y'all might think it's her, but nah, it's her, <laughs> it's her daughter. Well. What you say your name was again? Toya. Toya and um, Jay. Jay. Listen, man, we're going to get to know y'all a little bit. I'm going to end up interviewing y'all separate, but we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna do it real real fast. Uh, Tar, start with you. Not Tar, Toya. Tor. Yeah, <laughs> your mama Tar. Yeah. Toya, um. Let's talk about your childhood a little bit. Did you grow up in a two-parent household? No. I was passed around. What you mean by that? Um, my grandma, my mama, she basically, my mama and my daddy were on drugs. Right. You know, my grandma did what she could until my uncle said it was enough. So I think it was like seven to eight. My mama's 28th birthday was the end. Like, my mama was like the shit. Tara is the shit. Like, um, my mama's the realest nigga I know. Right. To this day, she's the realest nigga I know. You feel me? Right. And um, her 28th birthday kind of changed. It's, everything changed after then. Um, I was passed around. People, people, people here, here, here. I used to sleep on the sidewalk with my mom. My mama is my dog. Like, she hit me in the head with a hammer a couple months ago. <laughs> Didn't she? <laughs> Swear to God, I had to get stitches, staples, staples in my head, everything. <clears throat> yeah. Like, she's really hard on me, but I'm her twin. Y'all yeah, would just like to. And I'm every bit of her. Uh, yeah, you. I think you're following her footsteps. I remember you. See, I remember you. I was from, a good girl. Like, remember, remember me? From I remember from that your store? store. I used to come down there to that store on purpose. <laughs> you had them dreads and that bins. I had my my two boys then. Right. No, had, and my daughter. Yeah. And my daughter. I got six kids. Now. Everybody used to tell me, man, what happened to your bins and your dreads? 20 years ago. Change your life. No, nah, it wasn't. How long? It was 2011. Yeah. No, it was like 2000. No, it was 2011. I know. I know. I opened up 2011. Yeah. You did. 2011. Yeah. I only started sold singles on the south side. Yeah. I sold them singles. On Gregory Street. Ain't had no, ain't had too much in there, but shit. <laughs> he knew what he was doing. That's right. And listen though, but um. You did smart though. Right. You was really smart. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a C. I'm a C minus student. I, 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 ain't, I ain't nothing to brag about. I got about a C minus grade point average. Whatever. But anyway, did. um. Let's get your, let's get, what about you? You grew up in a two-parent household? No. Started out young. Yeah, my mother and father used to fight all the time. Drink. My father did. Mm -hmm. I grew up with my uncles. I grew up with niggas on the street. Older people. I started doing drugs at 15. Heroin, coke, barbiturates, taking pills. I mean, start stealing, all that stuff. I did a lot of things that I'm not thankful for, that I shouldn't be thankful for, right. except for my life, and I thank God for that. That's right. But most of all, at my age, I should be more settled, minded, living wise minded. But yeah, I'm still on it. I'm gonna kick I'm your still ass because I, I ever smoke. Say you ain't thankful for I'm a smoker, okay. not a crackhead. Right. You know? Tell me the difference. Tell me the difference. It's a difference between things. I don't go out and steal or sell my body for this shit. Right. I'm JJ. I'm with money. That's right. You know. That's right. It's money with talks. That's right. And That's if you got a talk JJ. game, mm -hmm. then you can get people to give you what the fuck you want. Say Where you learn that from? Who you nigga, I've been, I'm a main man. Oh, excuse <laughs> me, I'm she, already main. You need to what, 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 what she talking about? He swear nah, he my pimp. She ain't talking about nothing. Nah, Stop lying. He swear he my pimp. She, but what that's my best friend. We never slept yeah. together. Right, y'all, 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 y'all. Because whatever she gonna get, come back, she bring it to me. And what mm. I got, I call together. her and split up. That's my that's best right. friend. Yeah. That's right. But I have faults. Right. Because I get, I drink alcohol and I get to go. I but it's crazy. As soon as you, not JJ. soon as you say something out of the way, I don't care if it's running a woman or a kid. I'm, I got something to say. That's right. Yeah, you know, like that song say, I got something to say, mm -hmm. and you are gonna fucking hear it. Yeah. Even the police know. 
Fuck them. He shut up for me. Not, uh, sh hold on, I'm talking. But what I'm saying <laughs> that's is, right. that's right. you hear what, what I'm said. saying is, you hear what said. as a made man, as a made man, I had my fault. Don't fault me because I smoke. Don't fault me because of other things. You have issues too in your life. Other people have faults. You know saying them? But, you know, people have faults just like everybody else. That's right. You know, why are you going to fault me for my problems, mm -hmm. but you don't fault yourself for yours? That's right. But you come to me and want to down me, mm -hmm. try to degrade me, mm -hmm. for what? But I'm still a good man. Right. I do shit for you, then you won't nobody else will. That's right. But guess what? You smoke. So? You drink, you smoke weed. What's the difference? You out in the open. Use an addict too. That's right. But I accept mine, but do you accept yours? Right. You're but you want to think I'm crazy? You want to think I'm a person that with no respect? A person that just, you can say you can do anything too because he smoked. No, you can't. Understand, I have respect, yeah. I have feelings, I have emotions. And I have pride that ain't now motherfucker gonna get. That's right. If you get that, you got to get me. That's right. Tell him you ain't who? You ain't JJ, you who? JT. JTMC. <laughs> I'm not telling you. Hey, J E so, Chili Double so, R Y. He said he told me when he uh first started doing drugs, you just talked about your mom and things like that. So when did you um first start dibbing dabbing with the streets? Mm. Oh, young, young. Like, young. I had my first baby at 15. Mm -hmm. So, I jumped off the porch real mad early. Like, like I said, I was with my mom. So, 9, 10, 11, 12. I was really out here in the streets. I was buying packs of cigarettes at 11, 12 years old. Out in the streets. Right. But, um, hey, big bro. Yes. Don't do that. Don't, don't, yeah, do, that, don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. I yeah, don't do that while I'm here. Right, yeah, because right. I don't want to smell that shit. Okay. But, and, then, um, and then I'm trying to get you off of it. Right. So I don't want to nah, make it like I'm condoning. I can't tell what you do in your own house, but I'm just asking. Help me. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to help you. I'm this, this, today my first day meeting, but but I'm I'm, I'm, I'm going to come through all the time. I have a problem, and I need, this is oh, one of them. Yeah, right. But, just, um, just, just I got you. video almost over, and yeah, then I'll be out of here, because I, I can't smell that. All right. Go ahead. But, um. I really didn't start, I had my first baby at 15, my second at 16. Dropped out of school. And I, but I was in school, I was popping pills still. Mm -hmm. You know, I went to Southern Guilford, so white people. Right. Shit, we got drunk, sniff coat, pop pills, all that, in, in middle school, I mean, in high school. Right. So I hit my first bag when I was 13. Did you? Coke. I never smoked weed until recently I got older, but drinking. I called that. That was my shit. But coke, it was all right. Pills, e pills, yes, that's my shit. But Molly's, that was my shit too. But I started smoking November of 2022. Smoke so hard. Mm -hmm. Or who started you? That's a good question. Like a female started me. Or O'Hara. You might as well kind of say. I'm not gonna say it. She did it, but who handed it to me? Mm -hmm. My mom. Your mom, Tara? Yeah, but it's not like she gave it to me. I asked for it. She felt like you was already doing snort, snort cocaine and all that shit, too? Yeah, and I had sent her somewhere to get me something, and it came back with the wrong thing. And I bought her something. I'm like, no, <laughs> you're not about to get all of it, and I'm not going to get high. Right. So that's, so that's how, that's how it happened. Uh, and my mom always So what made, you, what made you continue doing What you like about it? Uh, it gave me an uh uh. It's an uh uh and an uh huh. I gotta go to the laundromat. <laughs> What's that? Ooh. What's an uh uh and a uh huh? What did you say it was? You got the uh uh and the uh huh. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> yeah. A what? A skeet. It makes me hot down there. Yeah, she's hot. So when, when you when you hit when you when you take when a hit a hit that hard, boy, listen. You skeet. Mm -hmm. It go. It go. Mm, this the I be uh -uh. thinking she be peeing. This the uh-uh. You say what? I be thinking she be peeing be so much. Oh, you don't see the ski around you? Shit, I pull up. Uh, I tell you, I don't in front of everybody. I don't care. Yeah. I don't have no shame if on my she game. If she hit a good one right now, she be skiing in front of you. Oh. She can't control I it. I can't. Like, and nobody touches me. 
I don't touch myself for nothing. And I, I just, be trying to tell you, don't do it. It's so, too late. It's part of PP. No. You think she, Oh, I mean, because it be so much. <laughs> She's skeeting there and peeing. I said, if you do that, go down there in the bathroom on the toilet. What color do it be? Like piss. No, but it be no. white. Well, it's it not yellow. It ain't, it ain't piss, then. It ain't piss. But, but I ain't never seen a woman skeet like that. Listen, Thanksgiving, 2023. Yeah. The Friday before that was the first time in 32 years I ever squirted. And I took a good hit. Somebody actually taught me how to. Hit it right, because I'm still learning. I'm a beginner. And she called and me. And I called him. I said, Jerry, money, that's my girl. I said, I just did it. I just, she said a I wet, wet. I said, what you, you know, talking about? She said, I hit I'm it, coming over and there. I go I'm like this. Show if it's good, I hit it real good, and I go, mm -mm. Yeah, she do that. Mm -mm. <laughs> if I get that, you know it's coming. Then I say, mm. and I say, I'm sorry. Once I say I'm sorry, it's over. So, I gotta go to the laundromat, spin cycle. I done rinse about two, three times. <laughs> it's time yeah. to start. She did, it she did it earlier today. This right yeah. before you go. Yeah. Remember you got in the shower before I got here? Yeah, I had to. Oh, you was in here skeeting she all over the place? She skeeted all over the place. I can't control it. I almost ain't come. I'm like, man, why she not see my address yet? I took the shower. Come on, I was in the shower. Listen, we sit here and get fucked up, right? Mm -hmm. We don't have sex now. We play cards, yeah. listen to music, talk shit. I cuss his ass out, mm -hmm. he cuss me out, put me out, I don't make it past the door. Then I get mad and go home. Or oh, I gotta yeah. babysit. Somebody come get me. Let me yeah. ask y'all something. Talk about some of the damage and consequences of the lifestyle. Man, listen. Ooh. I spent Ooh. Ooh listen. My God. From November twenty twenty three, I mean twenty twenty two to December last year, twenty twenty three. Mm -hmm. I probably done spent <laughs> <laughs> He did. I probably done spent mm -hmm. damn near fifty thousand dollars, bro, hey. and smoking. One night hey. we New Year's. New Year's. I left. She let I me come back, back about thirty had, minutes later. She had so much dope. I had um. An it, ounce we of was dope. in here for two days. I came back. I had an ounce of dope. Uh, two eight balls of salt. Molly. Molly. Pills, mm -hmm. liquor, money, mm -hmm. shit, even household product. I won't go on for 30 minutes. One thing about it, I don't sell my body. For, I don't sell. I don't sell talk my body. I don't, listen, I don't sell my body. I don't steal. None of that shit. I might get a front, but if I get a front, I'm paid a double plus extra. And I'm always on time. But that's if I really, really need it. Other than that, I probably spend about four or $500 in a day. Yeah. Dang. But I don't, smoke, I, don't, I don't smoke by myself. I come, I show for everybody. We hospitals. We go get it. He if that's my you. activities, I'm going to go get for my activity. And we share. My drug habit. That's my activities. We Alcohol is really it. Because I drink. I used to. But I show my all ass. All day, all night. I wake up early in the morning, 7 o'clock. I'm going to that speedway. I'm, I'm going, going to get there. <laughs> she going to get it. I get my head at that comeback because it's already be ready for me. What's you know, that supposed to mean? You I that, my right? life, the, the wrong things that I've done. I met this dude and I started stealing because for the high. That shit didn't really work, but it did. Man, I was facing 400 years plus 60. And by the grace of God, I got 35 women with the feds back to here in the state. I mean, I had six indictments. And that really Sorry. crushed my mother. Right. Because when she seen me in the courtroom, she seen me in the courtroom, she seen me in the courtroom, and she seen the vision I had. Because I looked at the police, and he doing his feet like, you know, tighten up. Yeah. I was going to turn around snatch his gun, shoot one at the judge, bust that window behind him, jump down, and then jump in somebody's car and get the hell on. Right. My mama did like that. And I don't know if she seen it. First thing she did was point it up. I had 35 years, I done 13 behind the walls. Well, it's a good thing I ain't never been in prison. They had to stay, I meant hard. Back then, that's back in the 88. Well, you was at the fifth. Did Terry Hope? Nah. Leavenworth? 
They took me all the way out. You go to USPs? They took, um, yeah. yeah. Long Park, California? Yeah. They took me all the way out. Kentucky. Then they tried to take me to Texas. Beaumont? Yeah, where that 24 hour. You don't see no sunlight or nothing. I was trying to see you ADX. I told him I wasn't going. I'm high, y'all, a little bit. You high a little bit? Yeah, but listen, I ain't showing my ass. Right. You like She's it trying to control herself. Listen. Good. Yeah, and that I are, respect. Uh -uh. That's uh, good. Yeah, that. Let me ask you something. Uh, we talk about damage consequences. You talking about yours. You talking about your I ain't tell you my damage consequences. Well, go ahead, then. Because, Mr. Man, listen. I done lost so much. You said you lost a lot of money. Fuck money. I done lost friends. I done lost relationships. Like now, my wife, I got a wife. She's in the hospital. I done put that girl through so much with my addiction. And she accepted, you know. She buys it for me as long as I'm. And she's in the hospital. I haven't seen her in three weeks. Didn't even know she had a stroke and a brain aneurysm. Hey, how old is she? 37. And her family won't let me see that. Hey, she had a stroke? Had a stroke. She got addiction? No. Married women. So what, 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 uh, what cause her, what cause her, was it a diet? No, she has a lot of health issues, period. But mm -hmm. it's mostly me stressing her. We got in an argument. She was Why are you smiling? Why are you smiling? You, you think you pat yourself on the back? No, I'm not. I'm hiding my tears. Okay, then. Like, right. it's my fault. That's not a smile. Okay. It's really not. Yeah. Have you ever been with somebody that just, just like that, but then they take the anger out on somebody else? Shut up. And you're a good person. It ain't no fucking anger. Shut up. <laughs> but you no, like, me the hell. I lost, I've lost my myself. I really, right. That's the, that's the, the biggest biggest. thing is I lost myself. Right. I lost my self esteem. I always wanted to play ball or model. Now I will say, look at me. I ain't shit. I'm ugly. Stop. I guess, you're I not. Guess. I tell you, stop degrading yourself. Right. You're but a beautiful woman. That's how I that's feel. You're a queen. That's how that's I. Right. But listen, Show it. That's how I feel in the inside. You feel me? Mm -hmm. Because I lost my self respect. What? Due to. Drugs, drugs strip you of everything. Man, listen, yes. tell me about it. Yes. When you ain't got yourself, yes. that's the biggest thing that you can lose. Do you want to find yourself? Yes. Have you ever have you ever thought about getting some help? I thought about it. But when you ain't got no type of motivation and support and everybody always, that shit don't help you. That shit don't help you want to go get help. It should. You would think that a motherfucker talking shit will make you want to motivate. You feel me? Motivate. Oh, man, I'm about to go. I'm tired of these motherfuckers. No, that shit don't do nothing but seeing you right back down to make you want to keep you high because you're depressed. Yeah, that, that, that's destructive criticism. Yeah. You're looking, for, you're looking for constructive criticism. And you know what happened? Something, that, something that's, that got intent, the, the right intent. But I don't have it. I'm the mom, the, I'm the mom, the dad, the cook. I'm everything to you got everybody. Kids? Hmm? You got kids? You said you, said you had your first kid when you were 15? I got six kids. You got six kids? Three boys, three girls. Who raised them? I got my last baby, my other father not with me. Right. And what, it hurts, you, it hurts. Let me right. tell you something. You remember when I was uh on, I was a good girl then, you know? Mm -hmm. And I was always with my kids. I've been a mother since I was 15. I love my babies. Right. I had four kids at the age of 20. I gave up my basketball scholarship. I gave up a full ride basketball scholarship. Because I had two kids going to school and working and I didn't want my grandma to raise them. I dropped out of school two weeks before I was supposed to graduate. Mm. With a 3.5 GPA, I'm very smart. You only had two weeks left. Two weeks. Two weeks. You ever thought about getting all your kids back together? <laughs> you think about it. I want it. What? I want my kids. Like, I got a seven-year-old son who never seen my other kids. And he's with my family member. And that shit hurts. They, they in the same city? Yeah. It hurts. And, and like, I'm not a bad mom. I've never beat my kids. None of that. You know, I love my kids. But they say they keep my kids away from me because it hurts me more than it hurts them. My oldest son told me, Mama, just stop. He's 17. About to graduate high school. Mama, stop trying to see us. Because it's hurting you. It's killing you. We good. Just get yourself together, Mom. Yeah, I'm saying though. Uh, Malachi, my, my baby Malachi. Right. A lot of people say they 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 love their kids. How can and, I and love some, my kids? Sometimes, some, sometimes they cry when I, I do interviews, and I always ask I them. I want to. I, I always ask them, "Do you love your kids more than you love the crack?" 
Mm. Yeah, I do. I love my kids more, but I really don't. Matter of fact, I really love the crack. I'm gonna be honest with you. I really love the crack more. You know why? That's what your actions show. Yeah, and that's your your mouth might say one thing because it's the right thing to say, but your actions show that. If you love your kids more than you love the crack, then you will get the crack up. But how can I love my kids when I'm not loving myself? How can I love my kids when I'm truly not loving myself? I can't love them the right way because I don't love myself enough. Right. Because if I love myself enough, I would get my ass up and get the fuck off this drug. Right. And do what the fuck I need to do as a mother Mm -hmm. to get my kids. Y'all, I'm about to cry. I'm not. That's real. The truth hurts sometimes, but you know, it's sometimes sometimes it's good. The, the pity right there in your face because it, it gives you something to think about. Even when I leave here, it might it might be tomorrow or next day. You for around and call me and be like, man, you know what, Mary? So I did that interview. I've been thinking about my motherfucking kids. You made me feel like, you know, I ain't never looked at it like that. I picked, I picked that drug for my kids. I always feel like I love my kids, but now I feel like she right. I, I, this addiction is keeping me from, from yeah. being there for my kids. So you got to make a choice and yeah. say, you know what? But it, 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 And it's easier said than done. You know what I mean? And that's why I come in at, you know, like... When you're on a drug, your mental is not on that. Now, I suffer from mental health, Till you come I have off, come down. Then you're back to loving your Right, family. that's right. I got bipolar, schizophrenic, schizophrenic, When I got locked up, psychotic, depression. The girl I miss rich, my baby got put up for adoption. It hurt me. My mother and them said no. Her mother said no with that baby. So she put the baby for adoption. I'm in jail. Mm-hmm. And she tell me to name the baby. And I named the baby Sharisha Marie McQueen. Mm-hmm. I can't find her. I want to find my daughter. She's of age now, probably 30 something. Yeah, 30 something. And I mean, it hurts because if your own family deny you, of your child, which they could be a granddaughter, aunts, uncles, but you won't help me because of what I done. Sometimes they tell some, sometimes they sometimes they gotta do what's in the, in, in the best interest of the kid, whether it's your baby or not. The goal is to protect the kids from all hurt, harm, and danger. But they were straight. They were straight. But let me ask you this though: but what you said? They job, they, they work, to they protect home. the kids. Yeah. What if them kids really just want their parents? It ain't what the kids want. These are kids. Kids don't make grown they people decisions. Kids, kids don't, can't make decisions. Kids not. don't make grown people decisions. What, what's going on is, it's a lot. A kid, a kid will cry and say he wants some cake at, at two, th- two, or three in the morning. Kid will say he will go out there right in front of that car and get, get a ball. You don't let kids make grown people decisions. The, no, the, it's, I'm saying that because I went I, through that. I, I was I, that I, child. I, 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 listen, what I'm saying. I was that child. Kids don't know what they. Want. Kids listen. don't know what they want. I guess we do. They think, I they, they, think they know. I wanted my mama. I wanted my daddy. I wanted them. I didn't want to go to this person's house this month or this person's house this month. I wanted my parents. Right. I don't care about, it wasn't no, oh, my daddy bought. I want my mama or my daddy. And, right. and, and protecting them as kid, far as kid, that is. A kid, won't, a kid won't care if you smoke crack right in front of them. They want to be with their mom. My point, that's what I'm saying. But, 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 but is, it in the, is it in the best kid's interest? Mm. To, to, to see his mom smoke crack in front of him. Oh, see, I just because not, you want to be with I'm you. I'm not gonna do that. First of no, all, no, I'm, I'm gonna ask you a question. What I'm asking you a question is, this how the, this how the, the world root things. This how your family members, the sober people, root things. It, a kid uh, forgive you for anything. A kid, a kid might feel like it's fun over here when you smoke crack in front of them. And they get to run outside, stay outside at two in the morning, and they only in seventh grade. You come back in, you drinking, and you free hearted when you drink. You go buy them churches chicken and hot, hamburgers and hot dogs. Let them play the game all night, miss school the next day. To a kid, it's fun. So a kid will choose that lifestyle over a, a, a household that got structure. Wow. So what I'm saying is, but is it in the best interest of the kid to be around them? Or is it the best interest of a kid to be somewhere where sober people at? It's going to put them kids to bed at 8 o'clock, keep them away from all co- cocaine smoke, keep them away from all, all, all drugs and alcohol. That's the environment that the kid's supposed to be in. You're right about that, but let me, let me, let me say this. Mm-hmm. It's kids that have structured homes and all that, and their parents and, 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 and with drugs and with some type of uh, abuse or something. Then, then we, then we talk, then they need to be away from them, them people too. We're not, we're not, we're not excluding them. Don't, they know different. They know better than nobody else to do drugs. What I'm saying is that the people who I might not want your kids, want y'all kids to come back around, 
It ain't that they don't want their kids to meet y'all or be around y'all. They just want, want them to be up under different circumstances. But it's not like, to stay. I like, it's a, like a visit people. or anything because uh, uh, if uh, a I, person would, if a, a person really want to see their kids and be around the kids, they would not do anything to jeopardize that time with them kids. Yeah, but, that, but, that, but that, that ain't how it work because this is how it work. I follow you, to you, to you, to you, you're saying, hey, it's just a visit for two hours. It's just once, uh, two or three times a year. A little girl says she come around a man, um, and get molested one time out the year for two hours. That, that that that, that can traumatize that kid forever. The same the same the same type of shit. It, it might not be molestation, but if a kid come around a woman or a man that's smoking crack in their face or doing all that shit in their face, two hour visit can fuck that child up for life. That's why I was she saying. No, listen. See what you're doing and yeah, she gonna see, that's why I was saying. If it, I was it, can fuck, my... it can fuck them up for life. So people try to protect the kids from that. Yeah, that's why I was but, saying. But the thing no, is, but the thing, hours, but the thing, but the thing, but the thing is, if you love them, stop. People, because people, people, people that got dishes, they make every excuse. It's hard to keep. The, 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 we know it's hard. It, 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 nothing in life worth having is easy. People, people that got dishes, they make every excuse to get the kids without changing their circumstances. Or changing their circumstances. I follow that, behind my dad. That's all you gotta uncles. do. Change the circumstances. I, know, I'm, I tell you guys on the truth, I need help. I want help. Right. But it's hard and me fighting my mental health and things that's going on. I don't want to drink because I'm a rage and act a fool. Yeah, mm -hmm. I don't Damn want sure I, I mean cut a fucking fool. Right. Damn sure is. I don't want to sniff coke because I'm an act a fool. Right. I can say smoking this stuff. I ain't had no episode cussing nobody out, beating nobody up or nothing. I be yes, you have. All you're going to do is smoke and ski. Yes, you have. Yeah. You fought them two dead niggas, young niggas. <laughs> I, I was drunk. She, no, she I, beat bought, two, she I got jumped by two, two niggas, niggas out, out here. here. Because they talked about her, her people. My, my brother, my brother and my cousin and got killed in 2019. And fought them both. Whooped ass. Mm -hmm. My brother and my cousin got killed in 2019. And it really fucked with me. Because my brother never been in a street fight. Nothing. And can I smoke a little part and, uh, Or that'd be a problem too. You can go back there and do anything you want to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They go back and and it really you can go back there and take your break. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm kicking with her. I ain't got no break. I mean, you can holler and talk to me. I hey, so, hey, listen, no. So, um, let's talk about the regrets. <sighs> um, you have any regrets in your life outside of your, of your drug use? Cause that's the, we all because everybody every that's the biggest that's the biggest regret in life. Not but loving myself, huh? Not loving myself and giving up on myself. Right. Because I would have still been playing ball. Right. I would have still modeled. I would have still, you know, did everything you want to do growing up. Even I get with that. my kids. Right. What about you, bro? I regret my mom. Mm hmm. Cause she knew I was a drug and my second wife. I miss the good times I used to have right. with the conversations, with the eating, with the laughter, with this. I turned my whole self to a demon. Right. Love and like right now, Love I'm still that demon because the demon is in me. I'm trying to get that motherfucker out. Right. So what, what, but it's hard. What kind of steps are you going to take to get it out? Maybe I can help you. That man right there. The Bible? The Bible. That's right. God. Can you find a rehab facility? I'll go. No, nah, I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll let you do that, let but I'll come get you, pick you up, take you all your appointments, take you wherever you need to go. I'll be there right there with you. I'm going to assist you on things. I'm going to help you help yourself. Yeah. I ain't going to go home and do all the work. Cause If you put that work in, I know you're serious. You feel I me? Mean, you put that work in, you find a rehab place, then you call me when you ain't nobody there. Call me, I'm, I'll be here. You know what I mean? I've been through a lot and, of And then it'll be good for my channel so everybody can see that you're making progress, that, you, that you're willing to change, get them kids back. Look, I've been through a lot of drug programs. I want to show you something, right? From prison, This makes out. me cry all the time. And never one of them really even took Nobody the time to understand this. me because mm -hmm. I'm different. This you is. listening to me, but you ain't understanding me. They don't even look like me. Like you a little bit. You know, that's the problem. Look like you. you don't understand me, no. but you listening to me. I don't look like you. How they say? They look like you. How they say a person you tell yourself is crying that. Keep beating yourself up. Now nah, you good. A person is crying we gonna get out you, for We're going to get you back better than that. A person that's crying out for help, but they don't listen. Mm -hmm. Even when they talk. Right. You got to understand, he, he giving you his problem, mm -hmm. but you're not trying to help him resolve it. You just listen to the conversation he had. Mm-hmm. People don't understand need that help. Right. Push me. In the right my direction. second way push me. I was a better man. I work in a university at High Point and at KFC in High Point. Mm -hmm. Making mad money. 
a female like her. Mm-hmm. Get me back on it. Let's say you relax. How long, how, say, how long was you clean? Like I was clean for like two years. I'm right. gonna give you that two years. <clears throat> and, you, and you met her at the job? Yep. Two jobs. And going to church. You know what I'm saying that's when you met the girl who who made you, who, who caused you to relapse. You met her at the job? Nah, I met her on the street. Okay. Well, first of all, let me tell you something. It ain't no, don't spend no face <laughs> talking about a girl like her. I said, you, it, it I no waited you all. Allowed, you allowed her to get Yes, her. I let her into me. Right. No, you into my her brain. Because right. you could have said, no, I don't want to do it. It, 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 right. it was right. my but choice. That's right. So that's don't right. say a female like her. But the choice that I took. Yourself. Don't get mad at me. The choice I took was already wrong. Look at you. You got the cap on there. I'm about to turn it off. I ain't got the cap on there. Look, and that was a problem. That was a problem with me and my second wife. Because she seen me come on. She worked at UBS. Mm-hmm. She see me come home at six in the morning. She said, "Where you coming from?" I said, "Oh, I just went up there to get something to eat from her daddy's shelter." She said, "Nigga, you lying." I said, "No, I ain't." She said, "Look at the oh, smell on you. I can smell." You look like you just look really like tar now. She Cheryl. said, "I can smell it." And this no, I don't mean to cut you off, OG. So that's that's how easy it is to put a wig on and off. Mostly women walk around, so, so when women walk around, they, 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 they just got to just sit up there you like that. I used to do this shit on stuff. No, nah, I'm just asking because I, I, you just took it off so easy, like it was like a it baseball no like, like it was like a, like it was like a baseball this cap. This ain't no lace cap. This ain't no yeah, lace cap. That's what it is. Her hat. It's a hat. It's a hat. <laughs> yeah, you pin it over, like, took it off like then it's a hat. She turns into another person. Oh, that's what it is. Yeah. When she got it on, who she is? Yeah, she cool. Now look at her smile. She cool when she got it on. Look at her smile. And when she got it off, who she? When she got off, you better watch. The evil Lynn. The evil Lynn come out when Tony comes on. Oh yeah, Tony. That's the one. Oh, yeah. That's a different person. Yeah. yeah. Tony, well, listen, listen, man. Tony, that boy. It was, a, it was, a, it was an honor. It was an honor coming over here talking to y'all. It's an honor. I know you finna, really, I know you finna do your thing, and I'm gonna get on out of here before I get ahead. Right, I mean, if you really wanna talk, yeah, yeah, we're gonna go ahead. Listen, one on one, baby, just give me the time. If you got the time, yeah, so my, I'm gonna give, give, give you my phone number, man. We, I'm gonna come back and do a one on one interview with you, probably tomorrow, and you. But uh, I'm gonna let y'all do y'all thing. I'm gonna get on out y'all way. Uh, I got three dollars for you. I ain't gonna, pay, I ain't, I ain't gonna give it to you I right mean, now. But what? I, my, I'm gonna give it to I, you, I, give it to you when, when the camera go off. Okay. Cause okay, if I give okay. you right now, the whole uh, world have it. All right, I got you. Okay. Um. But yeah, it was an honor talking to y'all. Uh, I see that y'all, you know, y'all willing to talk, and I, I feel like if we, the more we talk, the more we'll push you in the right direction, of getting help. I mean, uh, I know you want them kids back. I know you want to get back on your feet and, and build a pet relationship to get the, and get the, get them good jobs and stuff back, and you want to just basically just just change. Bro, my and, house and, used I, to be so freaking clean. Right. Look at it now. Yeah, yeah, and everybody I, say, I, I, I seen yeah. worse. If it, if it was that bad, I wouldn't be sitting down. Um, yeah. But anyway, I'm I'm a rock with y'all, man. Glad you came. I, I, want, I, want, I want my I want my channel to see y'all uh, make some progress. As long as y'all making progress, I'm gonna stay right here with y'all, man. Push me. God bless y'all, man. God bless you. I be thick.